Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. We've got a 2016 Volkswagen Caddy in today and the engine lights on the dash and we've plugged it in and we've got some knock sensor faults. Got P220B there, which is knock sensor supply voltage um, sensor 2. P220E, uh, knock sensor efficiency and P and 0 U029, a communication code with the knock sensor B as well. So we're going to look into these codes and uh, let you know the outcome. Just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red, red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. We'll, we'll get it on the ramp now and uh, have a look see what's going on. Right, so we've got it up in the air now. It's saying bank one, sensor two. Um, bank one is just a four cylinder, so it's just got one bank. And so sensor two, so it's the back sensor. And then we've got, as we come under here, we've got the subframe there. And we've got the injector for the, uh, for the DPS there, from there. And then just as we come to the back of that, we've got the exhaust flap valve there. And then this is the knock sensor two there, which is just situated behind that. But it does come part with this loom in it as well, um, which comes down when you've got the ECU there as well. So. Um, luckily this is a lease one because uh, it's pretty tricky to diagnose it that's the exact fault with it but a really common issue because um, this is on a lease car and get away we're just swapping this over so um, get the new one put on and uh, get all the codes cleared out uh, but yeah just got a 22 mil spanner to get it out but we might need to heat that up yet and just a little connector on the back there to take the ECU bit off with it so as you can see a pretty easy bit to swap over really so we've got the new knock sensor here, genuine Volkswagen one today. Uh, check the description below, I've put some links to the part number and where you can get one from. And there are some aftermarket version ones out there as well. Uh, but I'll try to put a link to that in the description below. And um, just want the 22mm spanner to fit it. So we'll get that swapped over. Uh, so we've got that swapped over nice and easy now. Um, just see the new one in there. Just, uh, just cracked straight off with the 22mm spanner, so we didn't even need any heat on it. And uh, we've got the new ECU there. Um, we just had to replace the front clip there with that metal screen one. We originally got these little plastic bits on that uh, don't really hold it that well, so we thought we'd put one of them on to get it a bit better. Uh, so we've just been out now. I'll just give it about a 10 mile road test. Uh, we cleared all the codes out first, nothing's come back, so that's all spot on. Uh, I'm just give you some sort of idea. Um, this is a 66 plate van, uh, it's done 80,000 miles, just to give you a rough idea at the sort of um, age of mileage that the knock sensor's packed up at. Um, we've got the old sensor here, um, wiring looks, the connector itself looks okay, it doesn't look like it's had any water in between there and the connector. Um, the connector was okay, we had a good look at the pins there as well. Um, but here's the old knock sensor, you can't really you know, fault it to look at it. It's just a sensor that sits in the exhaust there, but most of these modern ones do come with the ECU built on them as well, so they're really bloody expensive. But so luckily, this is a lease one, so we had too much hassle about just swapping it over. Um, but I uh, hope the video helped. If you've got them same codes, it's, uh, it's probably going to be the knock sensor you're looking at. So uh, if the video helped, just give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.